Hello, Yellow Jacket fans. Welcome to another edition of Around the Horn. I'm your host, Wiley Ballard, joined by head softball coach Shelly Horner here in the softball offices nestled underneath the stands here at Bobby Dodd Stadium. Coach, the final home weekend of the year against Florida State after the Jackets spent 12 games on the road, got through that stretch, and this weekend we honor a very special five-member senior class, a lot of special individuals in this class, and again, a very special class in Georgia Tech softball. Definitely, these five seniors, um, it's going to be an emotional but very exciting weekend. I'm really excited to celebrate their successes um, as student-athletes over the past four years. It's been a great two years that I've had with these five. Um, they've they really mean a lot to me, and as I'm already getting kind of emotional about it, um, you know, they're a good, very good group of girls, obviously talented. Um, what I love about them is that, you know, they're, they're outstanding softball players, but even better people. And I think that that's really one of our core values of our program is that, you know, to be a good person. And I've really seen them grow as people, as, you know, softball players as well, but they've grown as people, um, you know, Obviously, the real world's coming for all of them, and you know they're they're a little you know on edge about it. But you know this weekend is you know we really want to celebrate them and you know just you know thank them for everything they've done you know for Georgia Tech softball you know as a student athlete. So you know it'll be a great weekend for us. Let's start with the battery for Tech. Kylie Kleinschmidt has appeared in over 100 games in her Yellow Jacket career, and Caitlin Coffey behind the plate has had to handle a very young pitching staff this year with two freshmen in the rotation as well as Kylie. What can you say about those two and what they've done in the circle and behind the plate? Oh, Kylie Kleinschmidt, you know, where do I start? She's just been, you know, rock solid for our pitching staff, and, you know, I'm really proud of the, the player and the pitcher that she has become. She's really been a student of the game and, you know, and worked hard for the past two years, day in and day out, you know, leading this, this young pitching staff. But she's going to leave this program, um, you know, obviously a better player, a better pitcher, a better person um, all around, you know, from her, you know, just her, her energy and her setting the tone in that circle, which, which I love, and just her demeanor out there. So that's pretty neat. Um, you know, Caitlin Coffey behind the plate has, you know, she's been more of the, the off the field leader and kind of the, the mom of the team. I feel that she, she goes above and beyond. It's not about her. And, you know, she's done a, a great job when she's been in that, in that catching role, um, which isn't an everyday thing for her. So, you know, those kind of players to me are even bigger to the program, you know, but she has given everything she's had day in and day out. She's improved um, as an engineer, and that's what she'll be graduating with as an engineer, um, being a student athlete at Georgia Tech and, you know, going through that, that hard, tough schedule. But she has come to the field. She does extra work. That, again, says a lot to the program that the team is way more important than her individual statistics. So I love that about her. At the corners, Carly Fulham at first base and Chelsea Thomas moving from second to third over the course of her career. Those two have been rock solid in the infield for Georgia Tech over the past couple of years. Uh, Carly Fulham at first base. Um, I've coached a lot of first basemen, and you know she's one of the top player, top first basemen I've coached. Um, she's just she's so solid over there, rock solid as we call it, you know, in the infield. Um, but she's made a lot of outstanding plays. You know, obviously had to pick a lot of balls, you know, on a lot of bad throws or just great plays. But she and she's a student of the game. She knows where to be. You know, we rarely ever in two years have had to say you need to be here. You need to be here for the cut. She knows. She's a student in the game. And I love that about her. Um, you know, she she's a, a great person. She's, you know, a woman of God. And I just, you know, I really, I love that about her. Um, she's a kind-hearted person. And she's been just a, you know, a good person for the underclassmen to go to, you know, whenever they've needed. So, you know, again, she's done just a great job as an all-around um, student athlete and you know obviously her grades she's done a great job with her grades and she's obviously already already has a job coming up she's already been offered a job and accepted so really proud of that for her so um, we're definitely gonna miss her you know at first base because she's been rock solid for us Chelsea's just a spark plug of the of the team she has so much energy and you know is always smiling good bad she is smiling and she has worked hard. She obviously made that transition over to third base we just said you know this is we feel is better for the team and she was like okay and again, it's about the team. And she has bought into that team concept and, and just, you know, been, been a, real, a real pleasure to coach. Um, she's very, very coachable. And she's quick at third base, love that. You know, we always say, 
like a cat, Chelsea. And I think that um, you know, she's so quick and she makes some great plays, great diving plays. Um, and so, you know, obviously with her speed on the bases. So she's had a great career and, you know, obviously we're going to miss both of those at the corners. And then Katie Johnsky in right field has started so many games over her career from her freshman year back in 2012 all the way up to now in 2015 whether it's her arm or her bat she always finds a way to make an impact she does she finds a way it's you know she does whatever it takes and you know she's not that just flashy player but she gets it done um, I, over the past two years i've really seen her leadership grow and you know she's a she's got a blunt personality and she'll tell you like it is and i love the honesty about her um, she's a terrific hitter um, she worked very hard this summer on her defense um, and the changes we asked her to make. She covers a lot of ground. She's got a very good arm. Um, she's just been that, that player that does whatever it takes for us. And she's had a great career for Georgia Tech. Um, and again, as that leader, and I've seen her grow a tremendous amount, um, you know, just making sure that the team needs to be where they need to be, what they need to do, underclassmen. She, she was living in the dorms with most of the freshmen this year. And so I think that was a good transition for those freshmen to see, you know, Katie be that, that leader in the dorms, but then that transition to the field. But, you know, she's a great person, has a huge heart, um, and, you know, we're definitely going to miss her in the outfield as well. Over the course of a 50-game regular season, Coach, there's a lot of work that goes into it, a lot of behind-the-scenes action, and so many thank yous to be given out uh, towards the end of the season. So many thank yous, and one again, I want to say thank you to the seniors for embracing me, embracing my family, my daughter. Um, you know, they're always one of the first ones to go out and you know just just play with her, and and that's been that's been huge for me. Obviously, coming in, being pregnant, and you know having a child, but they have just supported. And again, it's about family, so they have supported my family, and I can't thank them enough. Um, obviously, I wish them very well. Um, we're obviously always going to be here, so um, whatever they need we're here, um, you know, I just wish them so much success and happiness. Um, behind the scenes, you know, it wouldn't be possible if we didn't, if we didn't thank one our grounds crew. You know, they've done a great job. Our field is always prepared, it's, it's beautiful. And we've had so many compliments just from other teams. And so thank you to Ben and, and the grounds crew for taking care of us so well this year. Rachel Matthews has just been a tremendous trainer. Her rapport with the team is, is unbelievable and she's just done a great job keeping us healthy as, as healthy as we can be. Um, it's a tough job, it's a thankless job, long hours, but she's done a great job and we really appreciate all of her, her efforts and support um, of our program and team. Um, also I'd like to thank our manager who's been here for four years. It's been great working with Megan. Um, you know she's such a bright and intelligent person. Um, you know, going to do very well in the real world, very successful. Um, she does a lot of behind the scenes work for us um, that, that nobody even knows. You know, we're able to watch video as much as we do because, you know, she videos every single day and, and cuts and edits and so forth. So we're really thankful for her and, you know, it's been a, a great two years getting to know her. So I really want to thank her and, you know, the a great job she's done for us so many behind the scenes people that people don't even know what goes into what we do on an everyday basis for travel. Um, you know, I'd like, love to thank Keely um, for helping us, you know, obviously through, through this year, she's been a great addition to our program. Um, Lauren in the sports information office, you know, travels with us all the time and, you know, does whatever we need, has awesome graphics for us and just, you know, promotes our program and, and buys in and believes of what we're doing. So I'm really thankful for that. Obviously, we want to thank you. Oh, it's been, it's it been does. great. It's been you a know, good time. I've enjoyed a, it. Yeah. Another year or so, um, but you and Val do a great job of, you know, just, again, promoting our program. So, um, but again, you know, from facilities, um, you know, obviously there, it's a thankless job and, you know, there's so many thankless jobs in, in athletics, but we wouldn't be where we are uh, without our administration and facilities and all of the, the GTAA. So I really want to thank everyone for, you know, another great year um, of promoting softball and uh, look forward to the, to the future of Georgia Tech softball. And Tech fans, don't forget, one last chance to see the Jackets back at Newborn Field this weekend against Florida State. Saturday, doubleheader beginning at noon, second game approximately around 2 o'clock, and then the series and regular season finale at noon on Sunday. Chance to uh, celebrate this very special five-member senior class. And Coach, thank you for your time this season. We've really enjoyed getting to speak with you, and it's all about Georgia Tech softball. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Go Tech. That's all for us. We'll see you soon on RainRec.com.